This is Coach McQueen with Miles Horse Kinetic Dance. Today we're training high school basketball for speed, strength, and conditioning. After a short body weight dynamic warm up, we're going to move into the next phase, which is a dynamic resisted warm up. We're going to go through a series of exercises wearing the Miles Horse Kinetic Bands. This group of high school basketball players are wearing the Miles Horse Kinetic Bands right above their knee. This is going to provide resistance in the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the glutes, the hips, and the hip flexors. And also, we're going to work through some upper body rotation. The key here is to go at a nice, steady, slow pace, working through the resistance so that we get a good, effective warm up. We're also going to move in all directions. What we want to do is mimic some of the moves that we're going to perform when we move to the next phase, including speed and strength and plyometrics. The mouse source kinetic bands are challenging these athletes to work through the resistance. We're going to get the blood flowing, we're going to fire more muscles, and we're going to prepare them for the next segment of training. During the dynamic warm-up phase, it's a great idea to challenge yourself by repeating these exercises in a backward motion. Going backwards requires a lot more focus and concentration. It's going to help you improve your balance. It's also going to challenge your brain to activate your muscles in different ways. Specifically, we're going to need those patterns when we move into actual sports-specific training and playing in a game. You're going to need to move backwards. You're going to meet, need to move laterally. You're going to need to change direction quickly. And if we've used those segments, we're going to be more effective during actual playing time. Please check out our website at www.milesource.com. There you're going to find our complete program for girls' high school basketball speed, strength, and conditioning.